In this example, we're given that to measure the distance across a canyon, a surveyor, Susan, takes measurements shown in the diagram. We're asked to find the width of the canyon. What you may have noticed is that we've set up two triangles here given her measurements. Two angles of one triangle equal two angles of a second triangle because we have two right angles here and two opposite angles from each other. So given that the right angles are equal and the opposite angles are equal, we can say that these two triangles formed are similar triangles. Now, since they're similar triangles, we know that corresponding sides in those similar triangles are proportional. If we let x represent the distance across the lake that she's trying to calculate, we can set up the following proportion. 7 kilometers in this triangle compared to 10 kilometers in the corresponding triangle, a corresponding side, is going to be equal to x in the first triangle over 12 in the second triangle. And if we cross multiply, we end up with 10 times x and 7 times 12. Simplifying a bit, you end up with x equals 84 divided by 10. Again, 7 times 12 is 84. Then we need to divide by 10 to isolate x. And you end up with x equals 8.4 kilometers. So therefore, the canyon has to be 8.4 kilometers wide. In this example, surveyor Susan makes the measurements as shown in the diagram in order to measure the height of a cliff. We're asked to determine what the height is of this cliff. Remember, these measurements are not to scale, but they're just an illustration to try and show us what she's done. If there's no more information provided, we cannot calculate the height of the cliff since the two triangles in this case may not be similar triangles. Later on in math, you will learn about trig ratios, in which case you might have enough information to be able to solve this. At this point, let's assume that Susan knows that there are two triangles and that there are two angles in each triangle that are equal. So we have a right angle here and a right angle here and same values for these angles there and there. So since two angles of one triangle are equal to two angles of a second triangle, we can conclude that these two triangles that she's dealing with are similar triangles.